Olivier, Anaïs de Chaumont, Baptiste Tiffer, Laurent Chada, Julien Benet, Marc Ferrat, Oscar de Léon, Tudor Alguéga, Lucas Fredou, Lucien Lemeran, Mathis Pereira and Thomas Sommer. Okay, and the game just started. We have Mole got the hold of the ball. They're really fast and now they're at the basket of the Fox. So so it's really fast the game, very tentative and it's already a goal for Mulder. After 30 seconds game. But we had three, four players from Mulder at the basket and really um, overwhelming the French players. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I mean, we need to remind you that this is the first time that the French team is participating in the Champions Cup. And they have a lot of, I was talking with them yesterday, they have a lot of new players. They have a few players who play for not even yeah, So it's, we're so happy. I mean, you need to know that France is a very strong country in uh, underwater hockey. It is uh, the sport that established, yes, yes. but so they're starting with, with rugby now. So three Mulder players, so and Mulder. that's another goal into the empty baskets. I think it, this can be a very high... It will be a high difference. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, I haven't seen any games of the Frogs. The first you? game yesterday, uh, 6-0, the loss against Zurich. Um, but now I think they will struggle a bit more this morning and against Molde. They, they know it, but they're very excited to play against them, actually. But they also played yesterday against uh, Ege, 14-0. So they already, that's the last game for the group phase. They played three games yesterday, the Frogs. The Frogs three games two. already yesterday? Two no, three oh. yesterday. So, okay, thank you for the feedback. We are still working on the sound, and we were happy that we have a little bit of, of uh, background sounds. Can you hear a bit the um, the pool area? Uh, better sound, but it's very low. Oh, okay. So let's see. Let's put this a little bit. Um, let's now. I mean, we we can. Lisa, put your microphone closer to your to lips. Us. Okay. Thank you. Thanks so much. Um, we have a team people. Are you having coffee, tea, having breakfast in bed, watching the games? Don't see her. Breakfast would be nice. <laughs> breakfast would be nice. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so the game is stopped. We don't know what happened. And why it is stopped? Apparently there's a problem with yeah. the, something of the protocol. We have Kaisa Lindman at the, as a desk referee. And uh, I don't know what happened, why the time is stopped. So you know as much as we do. We, yeah, we still, you know, we all here start start working slowly. So um, hopefully, <laughs> in, in in a few minutes, we're going to be completely tuned in and be more aware of what's going on. And we cannot hear each other, and we, we cannot hear much of the pool. So we're a little bit blind in sound. So here, number four, just recover the ball for the blue team, the Norwegians, and. Um, they are still in the middle because uh, there was an interception from the French team. The I don't hear oh, anything. Oh, I think now they're at the basket okay, again. Okay, now we're at basket. Yeah. Defending, and we have, have a I'm match. I don't know if they have Okay, now image is back. And I think, yes, there was uh, three more goals now that uh, happened. So it's yeah. Which more goals, actually? So they're still working to see why this this uh, interference with the sound and the image since yesterday. Okay, um, so we had the, the before when the screen was black when we had the logo. It was uh, it was one goal from all the apparently now we just got one with the image uh, got back up. So two against two here. And see, you see, the team is is newer and more more experienced. You don't have a full uh, defender. Do you, have, uh, do you have any insight on the players if they come from uh, another sport or they're completely new to the water sports or some of them do, do, do they play hockey? Do you have any idea? Do you no, have I don't really know. I mean, you see a defender here has brayer fins, so I guess he could be play. He could be a hockey player. He also has a hockey mouth guard, the defender lying uh, now at basket. So I guess he's a hockey player. Uh, but otherwise, I don't, I don't really know. No, I'm going to try if, uh, well, if you have anyone is watching for the frogs and have any insight can uh, tell us. There's another goal 
from Mauro. It's very difficult when you have uh, such um, uh, a beginner team, you know, which is uh, France. They never had in France also how many teams there are? Maybe five. two. Five already, yes, in yeah, Paris, five. in Mauro. But they are five in a way, so I don't know how often they can and train and play together. They were created last year, I think, and the smaller so team, but there is really a, a good effort now. And this international yes. competition, I mean, they, they know the level among themselves, and uh, I don't know if they play in the Trinity and Lake. So yeah, maybe they do, they do, they do. And uh, actually, that's yesterday, Zurich may have finally managed to beat them because usually they beat Zurich. And in Trinity, they okay. always place uh, the first three spots are usually uh, Barcelona, Fisal, Isabel, okay. uh, Turn and But, so. well, you know, with, with the Norwegians, this is, you know, it's a little yeah, shoe. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I was out there them yesterday, like, okay, yes, let's see how it is. We're excited to play against them because we know they're good players. And let's see how it is to play against well, one of the top teams. Okay. Jeremy, thanks so much. Um, no, no, it's okay. We we need uh, we don't take it. Uh, we, we don't get angry. We really need uh, your feedback, and we are aware that it's maybe there's some difficulties. Also, Jose, thank you so much for giving us the feedback. As much as they, uh, you can hear us, I mean, they know that the sound is metallic, but since yesterday they cannot really realize they, they, they were looking for the, what's the, what's the thing that is not working properly, but they couldn't find it. So hopefully. Uh, even if it's not our charming and most sexiest voice that you can hear. <laughs> um, okay. Let's, let's go back to the game. Now we have all oh, that ball was a bad pass and that made the whole process of getting to the other side of the pool complicated. Now they're still fighting in the middle, but no, it's still pretty much we're recovering. <laughs> the ball doesn't want to stay with any player. Now we have two more players right underneath the goalie. And uh, they're going right and left, go right and left. The balls keep passing, even if the defender is there through the back of the yes. defender. But good job for France. Still have a nice uh, goal. Still defending, and it's, it's so fast that the goalie doesn't know which he, you know, react actually because the ball went back and forward from one side of the other at least five times. I counted. Yes, it was uh, quite passing a lot around, and uh, so Anais Deschamps, who was uh, on the goal now, she's. The one who introduced him was rugby in France. She yeah. was she did an exchange I think in Germany and started playing and decided to uh, to create a club in France and she's really trying to have a underwater rugby commission created in the federation mm. and everything. So guy with one leg, let's yeah. tell us <laughs> about him. So um, he is a surfer and had a, an accident a few years back. I don't know how much he likes talking about that. But uh, He's playing underwater rugby, it's his third year now. So his name is Laurent Chardard. And he is a para. Now he started training for swimming a year and a half ago and he qualified for the para swimming world championships. It was in wow. uh, August or September. He got a, a silver, a bronze medal and a fourth place as well for having been training for a year and a half. It's very good. His, his coach is Tugdal uh, Gigan, who is uh, also playing. And he, they're training together every day now. They're training for Tokyo for the Paralympics next year. Wow, yes. that's really fantastic. I mean, um, so here we have um, again the white team trying to pass uh, to the other side, but uh, again we didn't stop. Uh, and there was an attack directly to the back of the goalie, and the defender couldn't do much. But um, when yeah, he's in the third person underwater when they're attacking like a third defensive player. Yeah, and that's the exactly the that. You have the, the defender position, the goalie position, but uh, the forwards should be maybe helping a little bit better. They, they need maybe to concentrate a little bit more on defending, but uh, yeah, even the size of the players, you see the Norwegians is one and a half French guy. <laughs> so now he comes with the ball, he's been playing for not even a year, so was attacking the basket. So yeah, it's good no, no, it. and you see that they're fighting. I mean, they're really, they go for it. They're having fun. I think they are super happy that they, they're able to be participating and, and and just take all the experience, right? I mean, losing against Mulder, it you know, it doesn't have to be that experience. That's at least how I see it. Now we have now one against one, Ooh, two against oh, one. Good, good job. I think this is an eye, right? Okay. Uh, 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 and the basket, she's defending very well. And I think they, they were trying to, to change, um, I mean, to switch with, between the the, um, the goalies and uh, also in that moment one of the players of Mola just very long pulled out yeah. as well. Yes, yeah, and, and, and Anai is, 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 is one leg of one of the Mola players. <laughs> uh, this is a well compliment. I hope when you 
Because we said to the to the to the a lot, but it's true. Then it's a question of mass as well, especially. Of course, involved. definitely. I mean, definitely, mass does a lot. And uh, I'm playing with the Czech league, I play in defensive. Uh, one of the players from Budweiss comes, grabs my ankle, I'm gone. Okay. Uh, yeah, you need the mass of the, of the body, the weight uh, to be able to hold. I mean, and that's a, that's a mainly this and that this advantage between women and men when we play together at this level. No? Okay, well, so we are on the corner of the friendship. The defenders just tried to get the ball and successfully almost passed to left to the, the basket ball. area, but uh, intercepted immediately by one of the players. Apparently, there was something holding it by the ball. We no, see from the back. I think it's Otto's referee. It's, it's amazing, I mean, how uh, this guy has really been able to s stay and fight, I mean, and, and be stable on the water. Yes. So here we see the, you had a goalie, a defender down yes. in the basket, and then you also had two multiplayers players, and at some point the goalie went up, but nobody went down. And there was no one coming to defend with them, so yeah. it was just the two multiple players yeah. left and scored on the yeah. basket, but that's too bad. Good morning. Uh, uh, Okay, this is half time. Zero. Half time. Fefe, good morning. Yes. So it's the second day, Saturday morning, uh, eight fifteen, eight thirteen a.m. Uh, here in Berlin. Second day of the yeah. 34th. Yeah, I would say Lisa, Lisa is from Greece, I'm from Argentina. No. I think no. half of my brain is still asleep. I mean, we South Linda have my nationality. So, <laughs> you're, you're not French Greek? Greek. Yeah, you're French Greek, I know, but I'm, so, I'm using your South, the Southern in you to tell that it's too early for us. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. No, 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 no. I know, I know, I know. I know. I, I, but I need to grab the, the, the South with more <laughs> citizenship you had to, to have an excuse. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> no. Okay. So that means that people in the audience, we have 30, and if we miss something, it's because the, the cough is just kicking into our brain. Um, so yes. be, be merciful with us, please. Okay. So we have one and a half minutes to go. Uh, the French fun. team is pretty. I'm so happy that we have the French team playing this year. I think it's really fantastic. It's really good, and I think it will really help hopefully for the federation to, to accept to create an mm. underwater rugby commission. That's why they really wanted to come to Graz last summer actually and they could not because uh, they didn't have an underwater rugby yeah. commission at, uh, at their federation. They were not affiliated with the CMAS and the federation didn't want them mm. to because you need a critical number of players and of clubs. I think they have the number of clubs but they need more players. and. As hockey is very strong in France, was a question, of course, yeah. of funding, and so it's very hard for them. And I really hope that they will be able for the European Championships or even the next Worlds to have um, to have a team because the sport is really growing. Yeah. And let's see how it works. It yeah, but the, I remember that the they were very really disappointed. They were really frustrated, and and you know, France is. is it's one of the top nations, uh, one of the top five nations in underwater hockey. I mean, together with New Zealand, Australia, uh, UK, yeah. France, they are really in Colombia. They are the top five of the underwater hockey world. So, underwater sports is not really new to them, but rugby is. So, yeah. Let's see, Cologne. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that everyone else is here too. I'm just saying it's nice when we have new teams because it sounded like I'm happy for the friends and the rest can go. No, <laughs> no, no, it's, 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 uh, it's nice that you know see that the sport is going. So the Muller team just got the ball and is uh, approaching the basket of the frogs and they are coming over a close corner trying to grab the, the goalie, but uh, everyone else is in the mix there trying to recover the ball. I don't see any more where the ball is. I'll see the Muller. The and it's past. It was, you know, the, the, what I see of Mollis is they, they established, they, it's like they have a parking lot there next to the basket, you know, they're waiting there. It's like the space. Right and left, and they stay there. And then eventually the other players managed to pass it, and when they got the ball, they just 
you know, push themselves against the floor and then that's... Yeah. And see here the Juan outside trying to switch the chairs as a problem. Like, he always has to push himself, slide on the floor to go back to the chairs because skipping around is a bit hard on one leg, wet floor, the fence. Yeah, and also the sleeping in danger. <laughs> okay, so now we have uh, Bado and the half of Molde. But Molde gets the ball back. Counter attack. Okay, we have Goli in position. The defender in position. And. Uh, but they're defending better than the beginning. Uh, at least it takes for, for Molde the second or the third uh, wave. Uh, they're still having trying to... And now, as we said before, you know, th we, you have now the forwards really helping better in the defending and then maybe defending with two. Yes, but um, this defender has been... He was in midfield, he swam back to that. He was yeah. very long down. Okay, how about defenders? Position? So they're in the corner. Um, and they are still in position, uh, trying to block the attack, and that was a bit because it looked like the second goalie was trying to, to get into position and almost had the ball out. Oh, no, something happened. Sorry, I thought the ball went in. Mm -hmm. It was not. It was a free throw against uh, Molde. I don't know. I didn't see the sign. Against Molde, yes. Yeah. So, and that was good because that was a dangerous situation. And it was here just so in the, in the chat that uh, Laurent will, might be aligned for the next Paralympic. He opened more quotas for the French national team. You have a, um, a certain spots for the Paralympic Games okay. for, for country, and he as he got a medal. He opened a silver medal. He got opened another spot for the oh, team. Oh, cool! And uh, he has to stay at the say keep the same times. But then yes, he would go. So four five mobile players three frogs there and let's go yeah but everyone you know was trying to the problem when you have these big guys from a coming already five meters speeding up and and the franchise are right pretty much at the same moment and they did not really have much time to establish and to have been to position that we saw before where they were you know coming and doing the changes and staying a bit at least uh a better position to 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 wait for the attack. Yes. And that in this in this counter attack, this is difficult for the French team to to really and stop them. And it's also what we were saying yesterday with the games uh, of the Orcas uh, against uh, the Australians and the in Boston. Well, you know you will not win the game against a team like Orcas or uh, Molde when you're mid or but you know level. But what, what do you do? Do you only stay at your basket and only defend? No, 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 Exactly. Uh, and the thing is, you know, this discussion is early in the Champions Cup where, where some of the, the discussion is, is it, is it make sense? You have some team like Molde playing, I guess, time out for the frogs. It makes sense to have uh, such a strong team playing against, you know, just such a newer team. And if the question is, what do the frogs or what do teams that are uh, less experienced get out of this experience? They are overrun and there's no fun. And on the other side, when you talk to, to, to teams that may have the opportunity to play with this experience, they always say that they, they learn so much. Um, and it's really an amazing experience uh, to be able to play against such experienced players. And so, you know, I think, uh, and for more well, well, I mean, um, they, they are experienced at, at, the, at the state where they are. There's how many teams that can really, yes. in the world, eight, let's say between five to eight teams stop that can have the standards and really be of a, of a the same level of playing, yeah. so, so the game starts again. So six uh, minutes to go, and the frogs have the ball, and they're trying to get closer to the basket, but they are still in the middle field. The ball got dropped, and the mother players just recovered. There are three frogs, four frogs around <laughs> one of the mother players, and now there's no goal. Yes, there's a. Yeah, it was. Um, it it took longer for them to to go back. Well, but they were trying to do the four checking and try to recover before. I mean, position themselves and going to very defensive and we just talk. So okay. that's 
it is all these are things that we learn the timing for decisions to take and, and how to make it work best. Um. And it's true that when you play, for instance, if you play Three Nations League, it's, it's a good tournament, good mid-level tournament, I would say. But playing against a really good team, you learn a lot. You get a, a lot of goals scored on you, but you, you learn a lot because it's a big, strong guys, and that's yep. Like the play top level and water rugby. Now you see most of the play they're not playing too aggressive or too good. No, no, no. They're, they're playing normally, and yes. of course they see an opportunity to score because that's what they do. They but they're not going. They, they haven't physical, fouled. really. Yeah. I mean, which is yeah. some of the better teams they were falling a lot against weaker teams. That was goal. one of the mid players in and four goals. It's uh, now fifteen zero. Let's see. Um, 15 zero and uh, four minutes and a half to go in the second half of this first game of Saturday, here the 23rd of November. Let's see, here we have uh, the French team trying to approach the basket. They need to play the ball a bit closer together because look at the the arm's length of the mo they look like octopus, you know, they stretch <laughs> yeah. the arm and they're already in between two players, so that the, um, the French team needs to play a little bit closer. Especially because they don't have that good ball control. Control, exactly. Yeah. If they try, see here, most the players did a what, three meter yes, yeah. but they can grab the ball if, and they also can read the game really well, so if you have the bottle players, you yeah. make a long pass. Yeah always uh, have a multiplayer just coming and intercepting yes, because he yes, knows where the pass will be. Yep. And now we have two multiplayers uh, attacking the goal that was alone and there's another goal. And uh, yes, I mean, what could we tell uh, the French team that maybe they, they, they could do better, maybe I don't yeah, think that's much. Yeah, it's just an experience team. question, and then also uh, um, that they need. That was nice. This three-point pass. They are really uh, trying to stay two, or three on the water and, and and try to pass and, and get to the other side. Now we are back at the basket of the French team, and we have a defender, goalie, and three more players coming from every direction. The goal is just change, and we had yeah three more players again. I mean, right, left, and in the middle. Yes, but and you see, and Ace, you see, she has good ball. She plays really well. She's played yeah. in the Euroleague a few times, and she's playing for some time. But of course, as we say, uh, the team is only as good as their weakest players. Of course, if you have a lot, you're very fast, you're very strong, but you only have so much air. You can't play by yourself. Yeah. Um, Christian, good morning, Christian. <laughs> Thank you uh, already for commenting. He's saying that the problem, I mean, in, in between brackets, right, with this year's um, Champions Cup seems to be there only four competitive teams and then there's a big gap down to the next team. But I think this is a problem we have on a, on a world level because in the champion, the World Championships also, I mean, we had top five countries that were at the same pretty much level and fought for the first five places and the rest we have then a big gap to the middle ones and then we have a big gap to the last third and this is because the sports is still growing and I think this is not just a problem of the Champions Cup per se this is where we are with our sport right now so let's go back to the game one and a half or oh, this is at least my opinion right I mean it's not the, the truth and it's also true that what do you think in this. It's like that, we have some very good teams and of course if you were missing some of the some teams from the top countries then of course there's a big gap that uh, like my Alme Triton, they're one of those middle high yeah. level teams so it's fourth spots team. But that's a, there's a few nations that are you know at the more than you know the Scandinavians Yes, and Ege, Ege is also one of the, I would say, yes, the Turkish, five, five also five. Colombia, Ege, there. But uh, here, this year, because uh, cause this was only four competitive teams, so you say, we have another goal, uh, Olkas, Malš, uh, Hemelinen, Molde, and I would say Ege is also in this bracket, or a tiny bit getting there, and there's, of course, Denmark and Sweden mm -hmm. would be also in the same. Yeah, group of uh, so we'll have yeah. those seven teams, 
Oh, we have five this year, and uh, well, it's maybe it gives more space to the teams to, to evolve as well. Let's, <laughs> let's see. But the, but the quality of the game has been raising up with the years as well, we have to say. I mean, yeah, it's true, a mid level it's team. A system. Ten years ago, it's a completely different game than what we see nowadays. Yes. We have it's the last 10 seconds of the game, and we have Wild Goalkeeper fighting fiercely with the one attack that took a while, but eventually the Molder player mm, could uh, do the goal. And it's a 20 0 for uh, Molder in blue. Fantastic uh, game uh, from the um, Flocks from Bordeaux. I mean, they kept fighting, they kept the motivations up, they kept trying different things. They played in the second yeah. half, and they, they were better in the second half. So, at the beginning, congratulations. It's overwhelmed, and then they got way better. So, yes, congratulations. Congratulations. I always say this also every year, so much am <laughs> like, you know, uh, when you are a new team in a competition like that, when you are the new country, uh, you know, it's never easier to decide to go because, you know, probably, you know, it's going to be hard because you don't have the experience, so, uh, to, to invest the time, the money, the effort to come, and nevertheless, and, and, and take the experience, even though, you know, that might be tough, I think is really, uh, it's not. It's not really an easy, an easier thing to do, right? I mean, it's it's easier to come to competition when you know that you're in the top three to play because you know you go for the win. But when you know that you're going to be happy to fight every centimeter of the way, you know. Yeah, so I think I, I have a lot of appreciation and um, uh, respect for for those teams that you know come brand new and start to establish. So. Yeah, that's, that's, how happy. that's how you start seeing yeah, exactly. where, where I'm positioned and uh, otherwise you're, you're never good enough. So let's wait until yeah. we're better, we're better exactly. but then you don't play against the stronger team. So do yeah. not adopt and we see better. a lot of teams have been growing along the year. But let's go now with the next game, Lisa, who is coming? Uh, so we have, uh, in blue we have Ege University and in white we have West Zurich. Um, so we have, do you want to... You, can, you can read the Swedish and I can read the Turkish names. Okay. And practice my, my, my Turkish. Yeah, Turkish are in the list with the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's see. Egg University, um, good morning to the Turkish community. They are watching number one, Semit Ötze, two, Selan Onur, four, Özdemir Özan, five, Bakir Şöglu Khan, six, Selan Ugur, seven, Demir Kerem, eight, Karakot Mert, 9 Filitz Unit, 10 Togar Hakan, 13 Face Astrak, 12 Kok Ekin, 15 Susan Kaya, 17 Osgonul Levent, 77 Gokalp Ilkan, 99 Surugu Glu Berkan Mert. <laughs> I apologize for <laughs> misspoken names, yes. Lisa? And uh, yes, for Western Zurich playing in white from Switzerland, we have two Hannes Büschel, three Marcel Becker, four Anwar Brauwe, five Christian Anna, seven Matthias Dufour, nine Patrick Schumann, thirteen Martin Wendler, fifteen Nils de Bruyne, seventeen Mark Drexler, eighteen Michael Müller, 24 Dominic Peter, 43 Xavier Orozco, 54 Walter Bill, 73 Daniel Jussen, and 84 Frank Tretin. And with the sound so bad, could we speak a bit less? Actually, no, because I need to listen to us uh, in the sound control to be able to try to 